What is going on guys, it's Ash here, welcome back to another Wars video. Now, like the last video, I'm getting straight into it. I am utterly, I, I'm, I'm disgusted, I'm going to put it out there. And in, in these videos before, whether win or lose, I've, you know, I, I've said what's wrong with it, but I've, I've also p picked out positives. But, I just want to speak my mind now, Mal. I want to just make it abundantly clear what I feel, and I was I was absolutely horrified by the performance. Again, we weren't at it again. Just side to side passes. We needed to speed up the play for the weekend, and I mean we have a real opportunity because Arsenal they they dropped points yesterday, so you know. Our closest challengers are dropping points. People around us are doing favours. But again, no heart, no desire at all. And I get it was a wet surface. I get that. I mean, it was a game of low chances. Sheffield United didn't play great either. But I mean, at least had a point out of the game. I mean, a point isn't good. Still isn't great. It was a game we needed to win. But in the circumstances, in the dying seconds, at least just grind out a point, a nil-nil draw, in tricky circumstances, and just hope, you know, all the teams around uh, around us, you know, Leicester did us a favour last night, just hope, you know, Villa nick a draw against Man United tomorrow. But we don't have to worry about that now. Well, we do, we do still, definitely. But, you know, well, yeah, probably even more now. We probably have to worry about it even more. Because Man United could go even further away. And it's very much likely because Villa are absolutely awful. As we found out a few weeks ago. They're absolutely awful. And, I mean, there's, I had such high hopes after that Villa win. We were magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Last two games... I thought Arsenal game was really disappointing, really disappointing performance, but Sheffield United, I thought, you know, new belief, we had, you know, quicker passes, and speed up the tempo, but, I mean, I get, I, I get that the, the, the surface had a part to play in it, but in these games, you've got to work past that, sometimes you won't have the rubber the green referee, as well. Which, in some some cases in this game, we certainly didn't. Didn't, but you've got to work past that. A good team works past that and grinds out a result. But we didn't. Again. Again, and it's slipping away. We we put ourselves after that Villa game in such a good position to do well. And I understand. I may be coming. You know. Coming off, coming across a bit harsh here, but for good reason, because we have a good opportunity and a good team, which we are. We've got good players, we, and we could have won today. Nev that Neves free kick, maybe if that went in, it would have changed things. But <sighs> if we're a good team like we are, we've got very, very good players in seasoned internationals. We should be winning these games. We should be winning these games. You know, Arsenal against Man United down the years, when they were challenging for the title, they had very good teams. Obviously, you know, much better teams than ours, you know, they were fighting for their title, not exactly just Champions League, but they put, even if they, if, even if they lost, they put heart and desire into those games. And same with this, Sheffield United are close challengers. They are close challengers to us in the table. And I think they've they've gone just one point behind us, I think. I'm not too sure, but they're definitely very, very close now. They've they've gone one place behind us. And we've got to pick it up. Everton next on Sunday. That's a winnable game. Because e Everton, they were very poor at Spurs. They deserve to lose one nil, probably should have lost by more. They're, they're a very poor team. They, they're, they've got Carl Ancelotti in charge. 
Which is very misleading because, you know, he's like Jose Mourinho, he, he wins everywhere he goes. But, you know, he's he's not really done that well. To be honest, he's not really done that well at Everton. Everton, over the last past few years, especially after David Moyes left, they've, they've you know, sunk into mid-table. But, that's a game we've got to win. And I said that. <laughs> I said that at the weekend when we lost to Arsenal. We've got to win against Sheffield United. Didn't. We didn't. And there was a graphic that came up during the game saying, we're, we're good defensively. The final half an hour, we only we've only conceded six goals this season, and we scored twenty seven. Where was that? Didn't see any of that at all. Didn't see any of that at all. No heart, no desire. And I mean, some of the players I've got to keep credit to, you know, Ruben Neves, and Raúl Jiménez, Jota, they they all played well. But it's not a get with only a few games left in the season. It's not about performances. It's about getting results. And grinding up whether it be a nil-nil draw or a one-nil win. Uh, as I say, if that never three kick got in, one-nil win, that would have been an excellent three points away from home. But no, back-to-back -back defeats, which does not happen very often under the Nuno. But it is. That's what we've got to face up to now, back-to-back -back defeats. And, I mean, when we came into the Premier League, I mean, it, it wasn't about just surviving. It was about competing for Europe. Because we we've, we've got the money, we have we've got the money. We've got we've got you know Foson, who who have money to to invest in the team to improve and climb up the table. And so far we have done that. And you know with the Europa League, it was expected that we would struggle and maybe mid table this season. But the fact that I I, I mean maintain this, the fact that we've done so well. We've done so well. We've we we've held that top six position. Sit well, definitely since the t turn of the year, and we've we we we've been in such good form, especially after the restart. And the last two games now have been so so poor, so incredibly poor. We can't go about against these teams, Arsenal and Sheffield United. I mean, Sheffield United since the restart, they've had a bad couple of games, but credit to them, they're, they're, they've sta uh, stabilised themselves after a couple of 3-0 defeats, and they've ground out a couple of points. They've ground out a point away at Burnley the other day, and obviously they've got three points here. And same with Arsenal as well. They've, they've turned the corner after a bad start since the restart. And, you know, we've gone exactly the opposite. And against these teams... We've got to be doing better, because against these teams, like Sheffield United, like Arsenal, if you just go side to pass it side to side, you'll get opened up. You'll you'll lose the game. You can't just do that. You can't just pass it side to side, like like you the Steve Bruce Steve Bruce and trying to grind grind out nil nils and trying to stay up. We've got great players, and you know. <laughs> I, I include Connor Cody in that list, who can, you know, Co Cody with his crossfield pass. I rarely, I've rarely see, seen him do it, and only a couple of times I've seen it in that game. Should be doing that more, because that crossfield pass, you know, can connect defence to wing backs, and that's often where we can open up teams, and we're really effective. And I get. Maybe with the substitutions as well. I get maybe try to shore up the midfield a bit with a three-five-two with Den Donker on for Traore. But just keep Traore on. Traore, he, he another another good performance today. There weren't many good performances. As I say, it wasn't a great performance again. But Traore. He caused problems. He definitely caused problems. And if if he if he stayed on the pitch, maybe we would have won the game because he was putting in a couple of dangerous crosses. And who knows? Maybe if we got a corner right at the end instead of Sheffield United, maybe that might have happened. And Willy Bolly, 
he was poor today. And he was one of the most obvious poor performers today. And especially, I have to say, because he was most definitely at fault for the winning goal. What is he doing? Willy Bolly. He's, he's most known in our defence for being a physical player. And he, you know, he shoulders off attackers. But that corner in. He got out jumped. <laughs> I can't believe it. He got out jumped. And, you know, he's supposed to be tall. He's supposed to be physical. That physical presence that will get you clear the ball away from danger. But he looked really vulnerable today, which is not is it's it's not a regular occurrence in Woody Bolly. You you don't often see see him looking so vulnerable as he did today. And he was what was he doing? He got out jumped by a player most definitely smaller than him. And that's one of his strengths. It's supposed to be one of his strengths. Out jumping players with his physical presence. But there was none of that today. And apologies if I've been harsh. But these players deserve it because they've shown, especially since the restart as well, and throughout this season, they've shown with whatever challenges they 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 put up with it really well. With the Europa League, a, mu a bigger challenge, much bigger challenge than just playing on a wet surface. Handled that really well. No problem at all. And we've done even better than last season. Which was absolutely exceptional in its own right. And it's really disappointing to see the way we've gone in the last couple of games. It's really disappointing. Hopefully it's, it's just um, a sort of blip. But there's no time for blips at this stage of the season. As I reiterate, we've got a massive, massive opportunity ahead of us to finish in a Champions League place. And who knows? Maybe we might not be so lucky in handling the Champions League with the duties of the Premier League. But it's all about having a go, isn't it? We we try and we face the Europa League very well. Who knows? It's all, it's all about maybes at the moment. Maybe we will. But we have to get these results. Everton, Crystal Palace. We've got Everton, Crystal Palace and Burnley as our next three games. I don't... Th I'll, well, not in that order because I think it's Everton, Burnley and Crystal Palace. But, you know, th those three teams we've got in some order next. That's got to be nine points. And I know that's a bit, you know, ambitious. Because, you know, it's always, it's always tough to get three wins in a row. Especially when you come off back-to-back -back defeats. In very poor performances. But as I say, we've got to do much better. There's no use just sitting around here saying, Oh, we played very well. We played very well. I competed. We were just unlucky. No! Like, if we want to be a top club, if we want to be a... I'm, I'm being serious here. If we want to be a top club, we can't just say, oh, we were unlucky, it was a bit of a... bit of a... Tr bit of tricky circumstances. We can't just accept that. We're far too big of a club to accept that. We've got to... We've got to work our way around it and try and win these games. And today... It simply wasn't good enough. And I hope it is better for Everton. It needs to be better. It needs to be much better. We need to be way, way more expansive. Far more expansive. I'm just really disappointed today. Because we had the quality of players. And Nuno got it right with the team selection. Front three is what, what should have been against Arsenal. But the players today that didn't turn up. It didn't turn up at all. And I'm utterly, utterly disappointed. Because we could have done a lot more. Should have done a lot more. And yet, the fact of the matter is... We didn't. Well, that's my thoughts. And some very bleak thoughts. Yet again. 
And, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking my mind. I'm getting it, on my, getting it off my chest. I'm speaking the truth in my words. And it may not be the truth in someone else. In, in your words, in someone else's, but that's that's just the way I see it, and it needs improving for for Everton, who are very much struggling at the moment. And I saw I saw them at, uh, against Spurs yesterday, and they re- well no on Monday even, and they really did struggle. Anyway, I'll see you on Sunday with a reflection on the Everton game. And we need three points. We need three points. It can't be clearer. It can't be more urgent than that. We need three points. See you then. Until then. Goodbye, guys.